So there, there are several goals in affective computing. Um, one is to uh, sense and respond ref respectfully to human emotions. So if a person is um, communicating to the technology that they're frustrated or they're confused, the technology could respond differently than if the person is, is just concentrating and focusing on their work. So people would respond differently. The technology could try to do the same. Uh, another goal of affective computing is to enable people to communicate emotions more clearly. And there we're doing a lot of work uh, building technologies to help people on the autism spectrum. I'll try to demonstrate a little bit of that for you later. Uh, another goal is to look at the role that emotion plays in intelligence and in intelligent processing. So affective computing in part is about understanding how emotion plays vital roles in, in us for regulating our attention, helping us make good decisions, uh, changing the way we emphasize and prioritize things, organizing, um, figuring out what matters. Those roles of emotion are ones that people don't usually think of as emotional because usually you're not emotional when you do that. It's just some background regulatory mechanisms that are important for functioning intelligently.